K-pop has some of the best transitions in the world. Today, we're taking a look at the best transitions in K-pop. <laughs> okay, so we start off with the match cut and it goes to a masking transition. That looks really good, especially since they turn around so it's like they're looking at her. That looks amazing. What? How did- what? Oh my god, that- it keeps all of the wrinkles too. That's insane. I literally have no idea how they do that. This is so colorful. Whoa, that was so smooth. That's nothing even too crazy. I think one clip is just fading into the next one. They're both just like zooming out at the same rate. So that's why they flow so smoothly together. Ah, I got some little baby straight kids. Whoa, that's so seamless actually. Wait, what? How is it so seamless? Look at them walking. Tell me that their walking doesn't look weird. I don't think that they're actually walking here. They're on a platform, on a dolly, connected to the camera so that they're moving at the exact same time that the camera's moving. Okay, we got a galaxy to another galaxy to an eyeball. Oh, I remember this video. And then they got the camera robot going. Surprisingly, there's a lot of anatomy that looks like the universe. If you look really close into your eyes, I think they really do look like a galaxy. I haven't actually seen this video yet, but Red Velvet does make really good videos. I know that. Oh, oh, whoa. Wait a minute. Okay, so she's like singled out. Like there's so many match types. Or how are they doing that? You could tell that she's trying to do the same pose, but it's not 100% there. And then they do it again with different lighting and they just add all of these together. So she has to be wearing the same thing. She has to be perfect with her choreography. The camera work has to be about the same, having her the same size in the frame. Oh yeah, so they're running, it goes to a street and then the Wow, there's, it goes to so many things. And that's just like match cuts. So like the grass and the street, they have about the same shape and the galaxy and the inside of the washer have about the same shape. So you just mix all of those together with like a continuous camera movement and everything looks so smooth. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and yes, okay. So the reason why this works with the eye is because the world is a circle and your iris is a circle. So those two things just match up. I don't know if these are even transitions, but the fact that they're just going like over the sets right here, that continuous camera movement like that. Oh my God, ah, the anticipation for it. It's like, oh, <laughs> that looks so cool. Goes through his eye, through a lock, and then into that room. I think it's the spinning. The spinning takes it to a whole nother level. They got the lock face, and then they, they made this inside of the lock somehow. Why is he so big? I guess I have to watch this video to understand what's going on. Oh, I remember this video. This Yes, please. Let's see it. Oh, ah, it's so amazing. They're not just zooming in in post, like it's actually changing. You can see that with these cameras over here, how this camera goes more in front of this camera. They have to be using some sort of automated system so that the camera can make the exact same movement every single time. And they need that movement three times at least. Okay, there's a little match cut right there. Oh, it goes into her eyes. It's her eyes are like literally bleeding. She's becoming possessed. And then obviously like the background becomes black and it's really easy to just zoom into her eyes since her eyes were also black. Tell me this room doesn't kind of look like an eye too. I don't think I've seen this video yet. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> What did, what the heck did I just watch? Oh my God, all of the match cuts. They add like a little transition on top of the match cuts. Oh, <laughs> what makes this really stand out is motivated movement. So he has his hands up and then in the next scene, his face is all close and then he goes back. And right here with the masking transition, so he just kind of spins in. Wow. 
Oh, I didn't even see that the first time. She totally changes outfits. But have you seen that trend on TikTok? People do it all the time with their cars. But what brings it to the next level is her hand. They have to mask out each one of her fingers. So this mask isn't just straight down. It would've been nice if they got the timing a little bit better. Ooh. See, that one isn't even like crazy. We've got some nice camera movement leading up to it. And then they pan out. It's not like crazy, crazy. They just warp the background and add in that red color to really like accentuate it. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's a nice little match cut, but they like, they zhuzh it up a little bit. They add in like the chromatic aberration, all of these like effects on top of it to like make that transition look so cool. The helmet like squeezes down to be the same size as his head. Oh, with the smoke? Yes! I love that they used the smoke. The smoke was leading the way to where they were gonna go. All of this warpiness in the background, but it looks so good and it feels so powerful too because of all of the sound effects. Oh, of course, thunderous. All of Stray Kids is just a masterpiece. Let's see, oh, I completely missed that, I think, in my first reaction. They literally just take his face and they put it in the notebook. That's really cool. They're even distorting it a little bit to make it look like the pages are turning. Stray Kids are masters at transitions and this video has so many in it. Like you could go at any time in this video and see a transition. Like, look at that. Oh, what the f ah, Yes. Come on. Oh my God. There's so much going on. All of the match cuts, the camera movement, having the camera do like that whip pan, going into the animation, like the effects and the editing and everything in this video is amazing. Yes. Like what am I even watching? It turns into a, come on. It looks like an elevator door right there. That's so cool. And then all of his duplicates, like they had to film that so many times with him in this spot and then over here and then over here and then over here. And on top of that, they're adding in this like ghosting and like this corrupted atomashing thingy. Ooh, that atmosphere looks so cool. It's all dark and moody. Let's see, we should... oh, that mirror looks amazing. Wait. Oh, the transition. This has that Atlanta effect. So they probably really did have that big mirror and they had it on top of some sort of a platform, just high enough to where the camera can go below the platform and then come up like this. This one tripped me out so much in my reaction. I spent so long trying to figure out how they did that. Cause come on, the camera is moving so much. That's what messed me up is the camera movement. You could do something like that with the camera locked off, but Come on, going past the mirror too? So I found out through the behind the scenes that they used a motorized camera rig so that they could have the exact same camera movement every single time, but it's so seamless. All right, let's see. See, through the, oh, the camera's on the hot sauce. That's kind of cool. It's nice and seamless because of that motivated camera movement. You know, at first I thought like, maybe they just put a GoPro on top of this and he just had to catch it perfectly, but that doesn't make any sense. They built out a rig so that the camera's literally like stuck to the hot sauce. Oh my, how do you, what? Oh my God, that is so cool. So they must have masked out around each one of these members and then added in this tunnel thing. Well, they also have to change the brightness on them. Oh my God, the effort. Oh, <laughs> that infinite zoom. Ah, it looks so good. They all have to pose there with the suitcase open. And so in editing, you basically just take like your next footage and you put it inside of the suitcase and then you add in that zoom and some motion blur. Ooh. Yes, that was so smooth. Got the pan and it's just all these masking transitions and match cuts. Match cuts and masking transitions together are so powerful. We're using someone to like wipe to the next scene and he stomps down and the camera like follows the stomp. And oh my God. 
That's the craziest match cut ever, probably. How many takes did it take to make her perfectly match up? The fact that it starts while she's moving in the air. They start off on her feet, go up to her legs, do half her body, the rest, and then her face. She has to do that movement perfectly twice. Of course we gotta end it with this video. God's menu is like a masterpiece. Just mwah. Like, come on. Got the camera robot going on. The match cuts, like what? All of this, all of this is planned out beforehand. Every single one of these transitions, like you have to plan it out meticulously. I don't even know if that's my favorite transition in this video. Personally, I think this transition is so much crazier. Yes. Oh my God, all of the match cuts going through the different scenes, they like bring in two people at a time. Ah, a masterpiece. Mwah. I wanna give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Charity, Jemmy, Kimberly, Lisa, Lucas, Melissa, Miss Hey Joe, and Victoria. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that, and all right, all right.